And we're live. There's nobody here, but we're live. Welcome to the first streaming episode of The Tobacco Nerd. It's a Friday. My bride is at work. And I have some time on my hands. So I thought I would kill it with trying to put some stuff into this Tobacco Nerd database. And hopefully talk to some people in the process. But there's nobody on right now, so I'm talking to myself. So, <clears throat> tonight I am drinking Gentleman Jack. Not from the bottle. In a Glen Morangi. Glen Morangi. I don't know if you pronounce that. This was a free glass, so I'm just kind of guessing at the pronunciation. With a couple ice in it. So, cheers. That's delicious. My pipe tonight, I have my custom built that I got from Corvette Jim Piper. Thank you, Jim. Uh, in it, I have Esoterica Pembroke. See, I'm, I'm a bit behind, I'm about seven seconds behind. So I'm looking at the stream and um, not seeing what I'm showing. That's when what, what's in my pipe tonight. On the screen, we have Tobacco Nerd. For your listening audio pleasure, I have Spotify hooked up, and we are listening to a chill, lo-fi, copyright-free playlist off Spotify. Hopefully you can see the playlist up here on the top. So everything looks good. Just play with myself for a while. I'm gonna put these on. See if I can listen to what we got going on here. Because uh, I can't hear it. I've got the music piped in through this feed. So now I just turned it on and I can hear it. All right. That's cool. I'm going to light my pipe. Wait for somebody to get on so I can talk to. Ah, uh, it's some smoky goodness right there. Esoterica, Pembroke. Where's my nail? Somewhere, walking around here, being a, a regular pain in the butt is Gracie. She is going to Bug me to go out soon, I'm sure. All right, so the whole purpose of this live stream is to put some data into this database. Right now, we got a pretty sparse database. So under the infrastructure, um, take a look at manufacturers. Am I still logged in? Yeah. So I added this Colhase and Cop company. Today, I was watching some videos of uh, people doing um, reviews, tobacco reviews, and so I added them. I just, uh, Bearded Welshman, uh, he did a video recently, and I created a tobacco for it. What was the tobacco? It was a Solani 656 aged burly flake. So I added that. Still needs an image. You guys can add that. I can add it. Anybody can add it. Um, but I wanted to link the manufacturer down here. Cole Hayes and Cop makes Solani 656. And I also created the Solani brand. Kalani, Solani 656 aged burly flake is part of the Solani brand. So I made that. I can't find the website for Solani. I was doing a search. And there's piles upon piles of stuff that's like online uh, seller storefronts that comes up when you type in Solani. So I just put website needed here. 
So um, hopefully someone can either let me know tonight, tonight or later on, or somebody can go in and fix it. All you gotta do is click on this edit brand information and, and type in the website right there. Also, if this needs to be changed, change it. So I'll go back to Solani. So I guess what I wanted to do was add some other stuff tonight, add some, uh, maybe some more manufacturers. And I was hoping to make this into a group effort. But when you only have a hundred subscribers and you put out a, Hey, I'm going to be live. It, it's not a thousand subscribers, it's not 10,000 subscribers. Nobody's going to get on. So this is very good tobacco. Luckily, my local brick and mortar is very good about keeping this esoterica in stock. I just bought a, a Margate from them as well. Supposedly Margate is uh, Pembroke without the topping. So I'm almost done with this. This maybe has two more smokes left in it, if that, and then I'll open up that Margate. Hmm. Recent acquisitions. Plum pudding bourbon aged barrel, babies. Hear that wood stave in there? I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this closed. I, I, plum pudding is like on my top five. So I'm gonna smoke that soon. I think what I'm gonna crack next is this Carolina Red Flake small batch. I think that's what I'm, I'm gonna pop open next. As soon as uh, there's room in my uh, open stuff. So tonight I um, did some research on the web and how to set up Spotify on those when you're streaming live. A couple little pieces that you need to download. It was pretty easy. I'm surprised at how easy it was. So, yeah. All right, let's find some more tobacco manufacturers, shall we? By the way, I'm using DuckDuckGo. Use DuckDuckGo as a search engine. Don't use Google. They record, they watch, they remember. So pipe, tobacco manufacturers. <sighs> what can we find here to add? So I think I have Sutliff, Sutliff already. If I recall, Sutliff is actually a distributor to the Mac Baron. Company. In 2013, Mac Baron agreed to purchase Sutliff Tobacco, the pipe tobacco division of Altaldis. Altaris, USA, immediately renaming the company back to its original name of Sutliff Tobacco Company. Sutliff was thereafter appointed distributor of all Mac Baron products. So there is still some tobacco out there under the Sutliff brand, but I think Mac Baron is producing this. I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. So until somebody tells me otherwise, I am going to have Sutliff as a distributor. And there it is, the Sutliff Tobacco Company. Associated Tobaccos, Mac Baron, HH, Acadian Perique, and Voodoo Queen. I got that from uh, Padre Piper. He was doing his top five of 2019. So I was going through and adding these as I was listening to it. To him. Padre, if you watch this video, I need to get a hold of you. I'm going to be going to NOLA for a business trip in, in the beginning of February, and I would love to meet up with you, sir. Smoke a pipe, make a video, shoot the shit. Still waiting for someone to come on. This is kind of embarrassing, but you know what? That's okay. Y'all see this. And the next time I go live, you hop on maybe. Oh, 
I like this lo-fi. Very chill. So back to the tobacco manufacturers. You need to find a site that lists, just lists them. Brands, I'll have to come back to that when I start adding brands. Smoking pipes is actually a really good resource. Pipe brands and makers from Pipedia. Oh crap, look at this. Oh, this is pipe makers. Pipes, not tobacco, pipes. Ooh. Oh yeah, Alibaba, that would be a great resource to get pipe tobacco manufacturers. I'm sitting here in Alibaba. That that the pipe, that weird looking pipe was just mesmerizing. Look at that. It looks like it's an obelisk. It's a pipe. It's an obelisk pipe. I wonder how it smokes. Nah. Nope. 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 Getting out of here. Getting out of here. Gracie. Hello, babies. So. Smoking Pipes probably has a really good list. Yeah, this might be it. So, for Orlick, I have... Do I have Orlick? I have Orlick Golden Slice because I've been... Oh, by the way, I'm going to get squirreled here for a second. I added a new feature called I'm Smoking This Now. So, do I have Balkan Sobrani? No, I am doing Pembroke. So, I don't have a Pembroke. So, before I do anything else, I'm going to add a tobacco called Pembroke. By the way... I don't know if you guys knew this. If you try to add a tobacco that's already in the database, let's say Balkan. Why is there two of those? Oh, Balkan Sobrani and Balkan Supreme. There are, these tobaccos already exist. And you can click on them to show that they're there. So this would prevent you from adding a duplicate. Balkan Supreme. There you go. So I'm going to add a uh, Pembroke. I just got a ball stuck in my back. A dog and her ball. Come here. Come over here. Can you not? Please. That would be so nice of you not to knock my microphone off. Can you come over here, please? Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can probably see. Come over here. Up. Boop. All right. I probably some started something very bad. I'm just going to keep bugging me. Pembroke. So let's look up Pembroke on smoking pipes. Still alone in here. Oh, well. So usually what I've been doing is I'll just cut out this. Smoking pipes is a really good resource. And I'll put... And tobacco pipes. There's no copyright information because it's just cut pipe tobacco. Which they probably got it from the manufacturer's website. So I'm just gonna put that there. The blend is where is it? It's over here. It's English and it's a ribbon cut. 
Would it be considered an English aromatic because it has topping? I think so. And it's a ribbon cut. So there we go, added. So I'm gonna go ahead and verify this because I added this, so I know it's okay. There we go. It's verified. Forum have, forums have been created for discussions, reviews, and sessions, so we can start posting in there. But uh, one thing I have here is this, I'm smoking now. Since I'm smoking this now, boom, recorded. Enjoy. Thank you, Tobacco Nerd. You are so nice. So that's, and that will record it. Eventually, I'm going to add a page over here where you'll be able to see your smoking history and just to see what you've smoked over the past. You can't continually press this. There's a 30 minute timer on here. So if I press this again, hey, you recorded a smoking session recently. Try again later. Wah, wah, wah. Sucker. So let's see, we get to add some components. Well, I know there's Latakia in here. Latakia. What else is in here? There's Orientals. Did you know there's Orientals in here? Add another Oriental. Bursa, Cavella, no, I have no clue, just says Orientals. And what else is in here? Virginia, Virginias. Sweet, sweet Virginias. I remember when there was no Virginia in tobacco. I hated it. So yeah. So there we got our components. Laraquia, Oriental, Virginia. What else we gotta add here? Who makes it? Who is Esoterica? Who is Esoterica? That's what I want to know. So if I go down to Manufacturers, I don't already have Esoterica, do we? So who makes Esoterica? Tobacchiani. Tobacchiani. Esoterica, Tobacchiani. Wait a minute, didn't I, what? Didn't I, didn't I asked somebody? It's imported by Arango. So we have a distributor. We know that Arango distributes Pembroke. So we choose Pembroke. And the reason there was multiple names is because the name could be, there could be a bulk under a different name and distributed by someone else or manufactured by someone else. Would that really happen? I don't know. But the classic case is Balkan Sob Sobrani and Balkan Supreme. So Balkan. Supreme and Vulcan Sobrani are two different things, so that's why I separate them out. So Pembroke is distributed by Arango. So we have, we have, let's go back up, I hit the wrong one, distributors. I saw that D, Arango distributes Pembroke. So now we need to find out who's a manufacturer. So I got the back here. Does it say who? I gotta get rid of my, brick and mortar sticker here to see the back. It says imported by. So it's made in Jersey, British Isles, imported by Rango. No, it doesn't tell me the manufacturer. So this is what we have a, as a community, if we want to uh, populate this database, is to just do some sleuthing and figure out who makes these things. And I think an, initially it's, it's an uphill uh, struggle because there's nothing in the database, but as more manufacturers get added into the database, then it'll be easier to figure this stuff out. Come over here. All right, so that doesn't give me any clue as to who makes Pembroke. I wish there was someone in the chat room who might be able to tell me this information, but unfortunately I'm all by myself. Except my dog, who keeps putting a tennis ball in my nuts. Here, told you I started something. Take your ball, go get it. I learned something very interesting the other day I was playing a trivia game with my daughter and her boyfriend and the word testify origin came up and I was like no way 
Myth or fact, does the word testify come from testicles? I couldn't believe this. Folklore has it that the word testify comes from the word testes, the Latin word for testicles. The theory is based on the assumption that in ancient Rome, when two men were taking an oath in a public forum, in order to express their truthfulness, they were holding and swearing upon their testicles. Presumably, if one party broke an oath, his testicles would have been lopped off. So I have to, let's find out if this is actually true. Even though we can't be hundred percent sure, it's highly unlikely that this is the case for two main reasons. Yes, the word testify does come from testes. Testify comes from the word testes, but the word testes in Latin has two meanings, witness and testicles. I don't really think that I have to explain why witnesses make much more sense than testicles, but God damn it, it sounds so much more better to say the word testify actually means to my testicles. So, <laughs> I thought that was interesting. All right, I keep getting squirreled. Who makes esoterica? <laughs> uh, you see how hard this is? You, 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 you bring this up, right? And, and there is no, there's no link to an actual company. So this is just, hard to find. And that's why I want to document this in this website. I want to put all this stuff together in a place that's easily findable so you don't have to do this. Who makes Esoterica? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's do a search. Oh wow, nothing's coming up. Hooker's Haven, Cup of Joe's. Let me check out my stream here. I hope that's not too loud, guys. Because that would really suck. But I think it's only having up to 50%, so. Okay. Ooh, Esoterica Tobacchiani. Tobacchiani, a history. This might be it. J.F. Germain. This is back in 2013, though. They're saying that Germain has reintroduced it, but is Germain still the manufacturer? And that's another question. I'd like to capture history. For instance, I'd like to add, if, J if J.F. Germain doesn't make Esoterica anymore, but they did, I would like to record that fact somehow. Like here, like if, if Arango distributed Pembroke back in between 2010 and 2013, I'd like to be able to have that here. Arango distributed Pembroke between 2013 and this would, this would easily be just another field I could add here, date range, current or date range. And then, um, then I could have that. It's actually not a bad idea, but I don't know if I need that or not. I don't. You know, one thing I do dislike about not having a beard is this goddamn neck. I have to lose about 20 pounds and hopefully that will get rid of it. Is that my doggie? I see my doggie right there. Hello, Pooper. Oh, hello. 
But yeah, so maybe that's something I'll be adding, it's like a historical. So if we had manufacturers, I would say, GF Germain manufactured, manufactured Pembroke between 2013 and 2016. So I think I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna, I've got a list on my phone. I'm using uh, Google Notes that has a keep, Google Keep. So I have all my like features I'm gonna be doing. Historical. H-I-S-T-O-R-I-C-A-L. No, I need to look and see if, okay, so by myself. Historical manufacturers and distributors. What was that? Do you hear that? Every once in a while my computer does that. I don't know why. All right, so I added that as a feature. I think that I think that'll be a really good feature because then it'll be a history here. You could have the current manufacturer, you could have the historical manufacturers. Yeah. All right, so it's possibly JF Germain. Salud. Oh, that's smooth. Does anybody remember Three's Company? Mr. Furley, Don Knotts. Every time he took a drink of alcohol, he would get those big eyes. He'd do this, this smooth. I love Don Knotts. All right, so it's possibly J.F. Germain. It's probably, it probably still is. Is this the same thing? This is a review 2013. Do jerk search on Germain. No, nothing's coming up. articles in uh, all 2013. <laughs> Penzance. We actually have to, whoa, here we go. J.F. Germain. All right, so we know as of 2013, J.F. Germain was the manufacturer. So I'm gonna go ahead and this could easily be changed. Do I have GF Germain? I don't think I do. No. So let me close these tabs. Let's open up a new one. Here's, here's the next one. JF Germain Tobacco. JF Germain and Sons. How are you gonna find the damn website for JF Germain? Germain Company website tobacco reviews first one that comes up jf lewis that's not even relevant jf fabrics how is that even relevant jf germain what if i put this in quotes the island wiki does that website does it have a website it says from the company website What's the link to the company websites? There's no, there's no website link. Why would you not put a website link? <sighs> J. 
J.F. Germain Limited, St. Helier, 25 commercial buildings. <gasps> Coming soon. They don't even have a website. I refuse to believe this company does not have a website. I refuse to believe this. They refer back to this site. Are you kidding me? They don't have a website. Wow. Okay, well, we're gonna use this for now. J.F. Germain and Son LTD. Website coming soon. So now we need a description. I could use this from the Island Wiki. It's a lot of history here. I mean, I could use it. My level's still, yeah, okay. My level's still good. I hope I'm not too hot. The last thing I want is to be, let me turn this down a little bit. I don't want to be too hot. Hello, Gracie. Yes, I love you and your ball and your now wet ball. Hey, yo, come over here. You that relaxing waterfall? Base. Let's find a de uh, description for this. All right, don't need that anymore. I'm glad we found the, the website for this. I bet your tobacco reviews would have a good thing on J.F. Germain. Not tobacco reviews, maybe tobacco reviews? So Esoterica is definitely a brand. Hey! GF Germain? JF Germain. Is there a GF Germain? Oh shit. It's J. I think it's a typo. I'm gonna hold on to this page because I'm gonna make a brand called Esoterica, I think. And use this. Close this. J.F. Tremaine began under, what's that? The island of Jersey in the British Isles and has played an important economic role there for more than 180 years. With its remarkably successful multi-generational family business, the reconstructed factory is situated on the site of the original premises facing the harbor of St. Helier, where Jersey built schooners once sailed to many parts of the world in search of high grade leaf tobacco for Germain's factory. Would have been better if that was lit. All right, that's good enough. You can always come back in and edit this. No corporate group that I know of. 
It can be added later. Submit. Hello. I'm still by myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve this. And then I'm going to add a brand. So Terica Tobacchiana. So Terica. Esoterica Tobacchiana. There it is. That's how you pronounce it. That's how you spell it. Like JF Tremaine does. Distributor? I don't know. Wait. Maybe Arango? Yes, Arango distributes it. Uh, no URL. And I'm going to use this as the description. Let's see if it'll take it. Nope, you need a. Okay, so I'm going to say. I don't think I don't think there's a website. You look and see. Maybe there might be. Spend enough time, attention on this. Nice ash cigars. <laughs> nice ash. <laughs> I have a t-shirt that has a cigar on it. It's a dude tapping a cigar. It says, tap that ash. <laughs> I wear it sometimes. My daughter got it for me. think there's a website because JF Germain doesn't have a website so why would there be why would there be are you yelling at me why would there be an esoterica website you go get it I'm not gonna get it for you I know you don't like the heater okay go ahead get it Got a heater here. She doesn't want to get near it. With good reason. Are you putting it down my back? Here's a Rango site. Yeah, I don't see a, I don't see <clears throat> www, website needed. I'm gonna put this in here for now. I should make it so that this is not required <clears throat> so that we can come back in and add it. All right, we've got our brand and we've got our manufacturer. So let's go over to Pembroke. You hear a baby? Yeah, I hear a baby too. So Rango, manufactured by JF Germain. Save it. And we go to brands. And broke. Brand is Esoterica Tobacchiani. So there. Let's add an image. 
I think we should do one of these. I think we should do something like this. Yeah, that's good. So we'll save the image. We'll just save it uh, in my downloads and we'll call it Pembroke. Pembroke. So now we can go to images. We can add it. Select it. Oh, that's a big image. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Pembroke. Uh, who did I get this from? Got this from Smoking Pipes. Smoking Pies. I would like to see that website, Smoking Pies. That sounds like an awesome website. <clears throat> this image needs to be verified before it can appear publicly. Why? Because it could be porn. Yeah, bastards. Approve. So now we just vote for it. See, if you look, it got it got added, but there's still no representative image. So representative images are um, voting. I probably said, I think I said this before in my intro video. The image in the images section with the most votes becomes the representative image. So it's completely democratic. So I'm voting for this one. And since I'm the only vote, it becomes the representative image. There you go. If someone adds another image and there's more, more votes for it, that, that, that image will be displayed. So this looks like a more fleshed out entry. Looks a lot better. I should go add some, uh, the recent tob tobaccos added. I should probably add some pictures here. Solani, 656 aged burly flake. Only burly men smoke burly flake. So John, John Williams, you're a burly man. Let's do images. <gasps> Rauschen is totlich. German language. You know how guttural the German language is? Anybody who's German, I'm, I'm really not making fun of you. I just think it's, I saw this video a long time ago where they would say these words in Spanish, and Italian, French, English, and it sounds so pretty. And then the German says it. It's like, I switch houses! <laughs> so, for, for instance, butterfly. In uh, Portuguese, borboleta. In Spanish, mariposa. In French, papillon. In Italian, I, Italian. Farfalla. German, schmetterling. <laughs> Fucking German, man. <laughs> Schmetterling. So, I guess squirreled, sorry. I'm still by myself in this chat room. <laughs> oh well, I'm having fun. Join me next time. I promise I'll give you more than an hour and a half notice too. That's a watered down whiskey. Probably should have put so much ice in it. Still good though. What are you doing over there? You better be not, you not, you better. This is all the alcohol I've had, a couple sips. You better not be knocking down mom's figurines. That's my sock. Give me my sock. Give me my sock. You sock thief. Just play with it, I don't care. <sighs> I hope I didn't blast your ears out, sorry. All right, which one am I gonna use for the Solani? This is the Solani Burley Flake, I take it then. That's a pretty picture. If it doesn't have any of the Rauschen ist totlich view image, that's kind of small. 
that's kind of cool. It's got the flake. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Big enough. All right, I think I'm gonna use this one. Uh, Solani Burly JPEG. All right, go over here, go to the images, add an image. Where did it go? Downloads. Where did I save this? Documents, desktop. Oh crap, I don't know where it went. Let me open this back up. I'll undo close tab. Save image. This is, oh, desktop streaming. I don't want this here. I don't want this here. Add this to downloads. Okay. No Groovy, not Groovy, Gooby. Aged Burley Flake. Marketing image. Really? I thought that was somebody doing a chat. It's the stupid music. Image credit, this is from Pipes and Tobaccos, I believe. Yeah, Pipes and Cigars. Cigars. Who they probably took it from the manufacturer anyway, so. Yes, please approve it. Oh, look. I will vote for it. It is now. Find something better. Put it up. Take a look at my notifications here. Clear this. Got all these little e emails from the system that I don't need. I should do a mass deletion on emails. Erica, I wasn't the one doing all this when we getting all these emails. Just saying. Pembroke. Okay. This is riveting TV, isn't it? Watching me add images to a website. I was hoping to make this a more interactive thing. Next time you will. We can all do this together. Okay, so what else we got? We got Westminster Abbey because Jim Corvette Piper was smoking it from Rattray. And do I have Rattray? So yes, I, I added a Rattray brand, Rattray, Rattray. And I have Kohlheis and Kopp. I think we just need an image. So next we're gonna do Westminster Abbey. I can close this, I can close this, I can close this, I can close this, I can close this. So let's look for rat tray. Westminster Abbey. Not Abbey. 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 Images. Ooh. Rauschen is Todlich. Rauschen is Todlich. Let's find out what that says. Rauschen is Todlich. English. I want to know what it's in English. Where's E? It goes down. English. Smoking is deadly. 
I should have known that. Is this Westminster Abbey? Wow, look at that tin. It's an older tin. Or it's a newer tin. Rauchen can totally sign. Ra tobacco can kill you, I bet. See, I know German now. Yeah. Uh, Spetterling. Schmetterling. All right, so it's gonna be a good one. I don't know if I want this big eight ounce can. This would be a better picture though. I wonder if Tobacco Pipes actually made, took this picture or they just stole it and then put their little stamp on it. This one too. That's a fake shadow, by the way. <laughs> That's a terrible fucking fake shadow. <laughs> hey, tobacco pipes. <laughs> you suck at making photos, man. <laughs> I don't like any of these images. one of these. It's too little. Gracie, stop it. I know you too. Can I help you? Is there something I can help you with? I love. Oh, you gotta get down now. Gotta get down. You gotta. You gotta get down. I love you too. Thank you. You gotta get down now. Okay. In the mouth. Oh come on. I love you too. I love you too. You gotta get down. I'm in the middle of a stream. You gotta get down. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put you down now. Don't. Don't take my my wire here. Careful with my wire. Oh crap! You're on my wire. All right. Go get your ball. Get your ball. Sorry about that. Okay, where was I? <laughs> totally, totally got scrolled on that one. Oh man, I closed my images. There we go. All right. This actually looks pretty good. It's kind of big, wide image, though. I don't like that. Yeah, it sucks. Cropping sucks. Tobacco pipes. God damn it. How about this one? Let's use this one. <laughs> it's 50 pixels <laughs> by 33 pixels. Oh, that's a perfect image. There's no good images of rat trays.
we're not even in Westminster Abbey anymore. All right, I'm gonna have to just pick one of these stupid ones. Smoking kills, quit now. Smoking kills, quit now. How long have I been going? 59 minutes. I'm gonna pick this image and then uh, I think I'm gonna stop this stream because I don't think anybody's coming on tonight, but it's okay. It's okay. What's this? Westminster Abbey 10. Why can't I find a good image that doesn't have copyright tobacco pipes on it? I think I'm going to hold off on picking it. There we go. I think that I am winding down. So I had fun with myself tonight. And I want to thank you guys for not showing up, but I hope to see you guys in my next stream. And of course, when you watch this VOD later on, you can enjoy it. So just want to let you guys know that this was fun. I am going to be doing this again. So I hope all of you have an absolute fantastic evening and if you're watching this during the day have a fantastic day and I'll see you again next time